my container filled with milk, nine liters of milk are drawn and replaced with water. And so, from this nine liters are removed, it becomes water plus milk. Next, from this, let's say the overall container capacity is C, nine are removed. The same container, nine liters are drawn again and replaced with water. If the volumes of milk and water in the container are now in the ratio 16 is to 9. So we do it one more time. Do this and then do it one more time. Finally, we have milk is 16, water is 9. Ratio is 16 is to 9. What is the capacity C? Right. Whatever C was capacity C was there, milk became this into C minus 9 by C. That ratio was taken out. We're taking 9 liters out of that. So milk becomes C minus 9 by C. In this stage, again from here, we're taking out 9 liters of the mixture. So we're retaining C minus 9. So whatever milk was there originally, into C minus 9 by C will be retained. And then the, whatever is remaining will become water. So we don't care about water, we just call, care about milk. From C, C minus 9 is retained. From this, C minus 9 by C is retained. That fraction C minus 9 by C is retained. Why? We are removing 9 liters. C minus 9 is retained. C minus 9 by C of whatever we started off, that much milk will be there. Suppose we are removing half of it. Whatever milk was there, half of that will be remaining. Suppose we are removing one third of it. Whatever milk was there, two thirds of that will be remaining. Remaining or C into C minus 9 by C into C minus 9 by C. This is the fraction of milk remaining divided by C this is 16 by 25 this is a fraction of milk remaining milk by overall this is the amount of milk remaining milk by overall should be 16 by 25 16 by 16 plus 9 cancel this off C minus 9 by C whole square is 16 by 25 C minus 9 by C is 4 by 5. 5C minus 45 equals 4C. C is 45 minutes.